I don't think I Three, two, one. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you have to actually make the other thing. You have to be skinny. You're too funny. Oh, wow. That's what I thought it would be. I guess that's a double A. Why do I gotta go get you so early? Like, what the heck, bro? That's one of round three, bro. That's not early. It's literally the third round. I know, but like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fight you so it's early. Top eight ball fire. Yeah, but that means you're getting sent straight to. If you even if you lose, you still you're around and losing in top eight ball fire as well. Oh, okay. Well, all right. But like, I don't want to go get you so. I don't want to get knocked out too early against you. But you know what? If I'm gonna lose to somebody, I know it's gonna be gonna make like top two, top three, so. Um, so it's, it's Ant and, I think it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wish, I hate when they like start without a, no, but it's okay. Um, we have Amp playing uh, DDD and we have Crit playing Hero. So, uh, just a little background information. Um, I actually have not fought Crit's Aegis in bracket in a really, really long time. And the last time I fought Amp it was like a really, really uh, close clutch game three. And I only got the game because I went for a very risky down here with ZSS on uh, Kalos. So with this set, I kind of want to see if... Uh, looks like uh, Amp went ahead and took that first game. Um, so I kind of want to see how Crit can adapt to the DDD. I did not think that DDD was going to be this big of a problem in tourney, but I guess that's why you cannot sleep on any character, especially if you just, uh, dedicate the time and effort to it. DDD has some stuff. Uh, generally, DDD's kind of a bad character. Yeah, that's why I'm so surprised that like, there's multiple um, people who are good with him. He has his... The, the one thing about DDD that is like probably his best aspect of the character is that his ledge trapping with Gordo is actually like considered pretty good. It's not yeah. for for such a low tier character, his ledge trapping is and the tools he has to do so are really, really good and strong against a lot of characters, especially right. those with poor recovery options. Yep. Like uh, Aegis who has a really bad recovery. Yeah. Both Crit and, um, and, uh, or not Crit, both Mithra and Pyre, I think, both have, like, not the best curves in the game. Yeah, they're pretty bad. And there's the confirm. You Drop, know, fastball and Nair confirms into so much sometimes. I'm it's actually, I can actually, you know what, I can actually see, I can see the vision why Crit took DDD to smash it. Mm -hmm. Um, smaller environment. Yep. The only thing I was concerned about is like when you're as skilled as Amp with DDD, the spacing isn't really gonna bother you that much. Um, he also seems to like be on the more like oh that was, that was beautiful. a great down air. Yeah, had that to time was a that day. had to time that really really close to two frame timing because on the way up DDD has invincibility. Oh wow. Um, that's best five and then yeah, um, oh, what's up, Chris mom? Yeah, I know. I, I really want to see if she can clutch out this set against I think Am. she can take a game. I think yeah. She can do it. If you can take a game, you can take a set. Because, like, like you were saying, like, um, oh, objectively, aww. Uh, should have switched to uh, a Pyra there. <laughs> You're so sweet. Um, wow. So, like, objectively, like you were saying, uh, DDD is not, like, the best character in the game, but, like, the way that Amp and, uh, who else plays DDD? I think it was Manaphy. Um, the way that they play DDD is, like, not, not one that I was very used to. So, um, yeah. And I know that he also has a Bowser Jr., and I think he's been working on Rock, too. So it's going to be very, very interesting if he's going to switch if Crit can take the game, which, like, I know that she can, because she's been putting a lot of work in the game. Alright. 
see, I, I can just tell that she just really wants to get the super first, uh, uh, second stock off of him with him sitting at 150. There we go. And they had to take it. And now it's pretty much even. If she can, like, uh, just punish effectively and, like, space effectively, I, yeah, like you said, I think she can take the game. Oh, wow, she actually almost just tied it up evenly. Let's go, Crit! It's going pretty good. Um... Looks like Crit is actually uh, figuring out this matchup a little bit. Maybe the maybe the counter stage pick was like a good move. This matchup's also really really good for Aegis just because she kind of Mithra especially dominates big bodies. Right. And the big A sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah. Not having to interact with Gordo as close is really good, and not having uh, a ton of multi hits because sometimes multi hits aren't strong enough to send the Gordo before you get hit. Right. Like, oh, this might be it. Oh yeah. If you can set up this ledge trap. Yep. Oh. Throw out the Gordo to bait the air dodge. Yeah, I was supposed to say because like if she definitely made it back. She, I know. She could have maybe jumped there. Right. Or done an aggressive option, but that was a really good setup. Wow, good game to both players, and we will be back with our next set momentarily, ladies and gents.